Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host Scott Fry and we are continuing on with our series of posts on tea and tooth staining today. And in previous weeks we've talked a ton about hot teas and how they may be staining your teeth. But we really haven't said too much about iced teas. Now, if you remember way back several months ago to our series of posts on coffee and tooth staining, you'll recall that in fact Iced coffees had much less capacity to stain your teeth than hot coffees. And the exact same is true for iced teas. And there are two reasons why this happens. Number one is the fact that the major tooth staining compounds found in tea, the theoflavins, are much less soluble at lower temperatures of water. So that way, the iced teas can't really hold the same quantity of staining compounds that a blue tea can hold. And secondly, iced teas tend to be a lot more diluted than brewed teas, which means that there's a smaller ratio of bags to water in an iced tea than with a brewed tea. And that will also decrease the quantity of tooth staining molecules found in iced tea. And all of this goes double for the store-bought iced teas compared to the ones you make at home, because the processing methods used to make your Lipton or your Snapple iced teas filter out many more of these major tooth staining molecules. And some studies have even shown that, in fact, zero tooth staining molecules could be measured in their study in the Lipton and Snapple type of store-bought iced teas. Now, really, the only thing you need to worry about with an iced tea is whether or not you're adding a ton of sugar and how that may be impacting your oral health. But by and large, staining molecules, they're not too many in iced teas. And if you're buying something from the store, there's essentially zero major tooth staining molecules. So I hope that's useful for everyone. Take care and I'll see you next week.